This conference will now be recorded.
hayal this conference will now be recorded yeah sorry for the delay uh, i am facing some technical issue here hi this is vivek is my voice audible Mm -hmm. yeah yes we may get yes we can hear you okay okay thank you okay are you able to see my screen uh, like is now i'm presenting something like ppt here yes can you please confirm are you able to see my screen or not mm -hmm. yes yes we can yes mm -hmm. okay Yes. Hi, uh, this is Selenium Automation with Java. So here, why we are choosing Java as a programming language for the Selenium? Yes, why? Because Selenium is developed on top of Java. Selenium is also a Java interface. That's why we selected Java as a programming language here. So not only Java, we can able to automate with multiple programming languages yes we can discuss in next slides yes before starting the course just simple introduction about me so yes my myself vivek i am working for one of the mnc i have more than 5 years of experience um, as an automation tester and full stack currently i am working as a full stack in one of the mnc i have more than 3 years of experience in training i am handling multiple courses with multiple tools like selenium with java selenium with python protractor and jabspark yes so what is an automation initially so first question this is first question just i want to clarify it is the automation is full replacement of manual yes my answer here yes no so automation is not exactly replacement of manual testing just we are automating the some stuff which we are going to execute number of times just we are automating the some stuff which we are failing the bow just we are going to automate some stuff which we have to execute which we have to test every time before and after release that's it we are not going to automate any test cases which we are not execute frequently yes. just we here by using the automation tool we are going to automate the some scenarios which we are going to test frequently that's it yes then what is what is an automation basically is automation tool is also one software it's a collection of softwares if you if we discuss if we discuss about the selenium we, if we selenium is a collection of software suits it's in a software suit having some num, collection number of other softwares is is having apis is having some libraries so here we are using web driver libraries and some java interfaces and everything yes so if you try to automate if you try to automate one software or if you try to do some functionality in some software by using some another software then we can call it as automation the main motto of automation here just we are avoiding the human interaction while we are executing or while we are doing the repeated tasks yes so by the human interface if you want to do some task repeatedly obviously human can may feel bored at the same time it will take huge human power also those type of kind those kind of things we are going to automate here yes then what are the different types of automation yes now if you see in now if you see in a market 
we can face two different types of most of the times people can hear about two types of automation in a market as of now then first one is a automation tools like selenium qtps or protractor or something else then second is rpa tools like blue prism ua power these things yes so one of the basic question i'm facing so many times is what is the dif what is the difference between the selenium and some other tools like rpa tools available in this market so one one and another question if i learn selenium can i able to work with rpa tools yes yes both are different one but the different by using the selenium or by using the some other uft or something else or automation tools just we are going to automate some functionality of the software just we are validating the functionality just we are going to validate the functionality and we are just we are going to automate the functionality but if you are if you consider rpa tools means robotic process automation tools so blue prism or ua path or automation anyway these are the process automation tools here we are going to automate the process so basically these tools are developed on top of artificial intelligence that's why most of the things the basic things no need to write any programming here but here while we are working with the automation basically the selenium yes selenium is having some inbuilt inbuilt methods just we have to use those inbuilt methods as per our requirement by using the some programming language by using the some programming language yes this is a difference but one of the, one of the mo, one of the most important most common course i'm facing is and learn selenium then I, then i can able to work on rpa tools yes yes or not this is a question yes i'm not say you can able to work on rpa tools if you learn selenium but if you learn selenium obviously you can good and more than enough knowledge on programming language on programming language so which programming language means it is based on you which type of programming language is selected so as of now we are working as as of now this uh, our training on java selenium java selenium so here our main programming language is java so the programming language knowledge is very enough so very necessary here yes what is the test automation it's yes, basically you, if you people having some testing background then obviously you can understand so what is the test automation is nothing but we have different types of test cases like regression test cases sanity test cases random test cases these have different test cases there but on or before like before release or after or after release we are going to test the some scenarios which are under regression and which are under sanity which are under sanity so most of the companies having the dedicated teams to execute these sanity and regression test cases on daily basis some test, some companies are going to execute these test cases on weekly basis so based on their requirement so but we are going to automate sanity test cases and regression test cases sanity test cases are very limited so we are like it's very very limited if if you have 100 number of sanity test cases then obviously we make you have more than 1000 number of regression test cases so just we are going to automate the regression scenarios so why we have to do automation exactly here yes what is meant by regression test cases so you, the people who are having the manual test background or something testing background they obviously know just i'm giving this answer for the people who are not having the testing background who are who are the freshers yes if you feel the new version of the new feature which is introduced may have chances to affect the existing feature then we have to test the new feature at the same time the neighbor features also so for testing these type of scenarios we are developing some test cases these test cases we have to execute each and every time after adding the new feature or after adding the new patch or new build 
so that's why we have to execute same test case so many times in a month or in in a month or in a release plan so that's why just we are going to automate these scenarios this is a way why we need automation testing at the same time it saves the time and cost it yes it saves 72 yes, basically it's very fast while comparing to the manual testing and guest coverage is also high it's much reliable these are the different points why we are going to use automation testing yes what is a selenium yes basically we can say selenium is a suite of softwares suite of softwares so by using selenium software we are going to test or we are going to automate another software that's why we can call it the automation testing so here in automation testing just we are using one software to automate functionalities of another software so here selenium is also a suite of softwares suite of softwares so basically the first version in selenium is selenium ide selenium ide so as of now selenium ide is again into the market few months back like one year back selenium ide is deprecated from the selenium hq selenium officially is deprecated from the from their side but again they released a few months back so initially while in like 2008 at the time selenium ide is a ide integrated development environment it is an add-on for the mozilla firefox in the starting days so by using selenium ide we can able to we can able to record the actions what we are doing on the particular browser on the particular browser and at the same time we have a cap we capable of executing or replay the record also it's a, it's a simple it's a record and playback feature so we can able to record the actions what we did on or what we're going to do on that browser and we can able to play back the same thing play back the same actions also means we can able to reproduce the same actions here yes just to say mozilla add-on so it means it's only we can only capable of recording the actions which we did on mozilla browser only we are not capable of recording the actions what we did on chrome or something browsers few days back but as of now like last one few months back they released one more version in that version in selenium ide now it's a cap we capable of add this particular add-on to the multiple browsers we can able to use this id in multiple browsers so just we are on the recording and we did some actions it record all these things and just we play back that like This is an add-on. This is basically a Selenium IDE. But in real time, in nowadays, no one is using this one. No one is using this one. So that's why. It's here we have to give what type of website what webs on which website you have to do some actions okay i will show all these things at the end yes i'm just i want to show the layout that's why we opened here this is basic selenium ide ui okay then next one is selenium rc selenium rc rc is nothing but remote control okay here selenium while we are working the selenium ide just we can able to just we can capable of recording the actions only but we are not we are unable to add much logic and much validations if you so obviously if you are doing some ui testing we have to validate something here like is that username is displaying or not is the drop down is displaying or not after selecting the drop down particular message is displaying or not we have to Test all these things in a real time yes but the much validations were much assertions we are unable to add in selenium ide 
So that's why we are moving to the next version of Selenium is Selenium RC. Yes, at that time, Selenium RC, Selenium is using the web driver libraries. Web driver is another independent library. It's going to use web driver libraries and it's through web driver libraries is used to communicate with the browser APIs and is automating the stuff. Yes, at that time. Then after that, after some time, Selenium, Selenium, these both Selenium and WebDriver combined and it's come come up with Selenium WebDriver. Now, now the Selenium WebDriver. Now our course is totally focused on Selenium WebDriver. Here, yes. Again, now as of now, as per the today, the latest version of Selenium is Selenium 4.03 Alpha version. Alpha version. Yes, so basically Selenium 2 Selenium, in Selenium web driver Selenium web driver version 2 is there 3 is there now 4 also is market It's an alpha version, but that's why Bit sorry beta version. That's why no companies are going to use that one as of now most of the companies are using Selenium 3.56 version or 3.5.11 version. This is the most stable versions so if you are like if, if you are showing or you if you are going to project your experience in automation is more than three years then obviously you may face one question like what is the difference between the selenium 2 and selenium 3 I means selenium web driver 2 and selenium web driver 3 here yes while we are working with selenium web driver 2 selenium web driver 2 is capable of communicating with the mozilla firefox directly directly we are no need to use any another driver.exe file no need to use any geeko file selenium 2 is capable of communicating with the mozilla directly but while we are working with the chrome or something else browsers we have to use some other third party drivers.exe files this but while we are coming coming to the selenium version 3 here in selenium 3 we are unable to communicate with the mozilla also directly if you want to communicate if you want to work on mozilla firefox driver also we have to use some third party driver here so that is the most difference between these two this is a very common question if you are climbing as a you you have an experience more than three years or three plus years like that yes then selenium grid so selenium grid and selenium web web driver these two are in market so selenium grid is nothing but if you want to test the same application on multiple platforms multiple browsers at a time then we are going to use selenium grid yes up to here yes we are discussing about the what are the features what are the things what are the features and what are the advantages of selenium then sorry what are the features of selenium now why we have to choose selenium what is the need what is the advantages of choosing the selenium here yes if you see here yes if you see here why we are choosing the selenium the first and the best and most important thing here selenium is a open source software while you're comparing to the other tools which are in the market like UTP or something else, something else, this is, if you compare with the QTP, QTP is a licensed tool, but it's a open source one. At the same time, Selenium is, is going to support multiple browsers. Selenium will support multiple browsers. You can able to execute your test cases, your test scripts, on Mozilla or a Chrome or IE or Safari or something else browsers, but Opera. But if you work with QTP, you can able to execute your scripts on IE only. Then it support multiple programming languages. Like you, if you are familiar with Java, you can able to you you can able to automate the scripts with Java language. Or if you are familiar with some other languages like Python, C sharp, Perl shell some other vb script anything you can able to use while you are working with the selenium but here if you can if you take consider if you take qtp into the consideration 
yes qtp is limited only in qtp only we can able to use vb script other than vb script there is no other choice here yes at the same time selenium will support multiple operating systems like windows and linux and something others mac also but here if you think about qtp it will support only windows yes it will support multiple frameworks you can able to write your um, j your scripts in a j unit or test ng or like hybrid framework data driven framework keyword driven framework multiple frameworks we can able to use here while working with the selenium then at the same time we can able to find large number of users by helping communities we can we can able to find the solutions very easily in internet and it's very easy and it's very simple to learn and adapt yes yes before going to the automation yes i want to discuss some drawbacks of selenium also why because i'm not going to tell the so selenium is a one of the one and only master in automation tool selenium itself having some limited feature limited drawbacks the first one is selenium is only to automate web based applications by using selenium we can able to we can able to automate only web based applications we are not going to we are unable to automate the desktop based applications like desktop stand standalone applications or desktop based applications is nothing but ms excel the windows which are opened by the desktop itself so only web based applications we can able to automate so this is a one of the drawback here with selenium yes one more thing it's required some programming knowledge it's required some knowledgeful stuff and everything resources also should be knowledge should be trained as per the requirement yes Yes, I'll show you just a simple program by automate. Is there any doubts as of now? Any doubts or any questions? Any questions?
yes if you see here so what are the things what 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 are things we have to do while automating the application what are the basic steps here yes so automation is nothing but we are asking the selenium to this action so if you observe here i'm i'm opening one website that website name itself called new tools dot demo yes this is a website just i'm showing this for demo purpose only this is a, basically it's a demo website i think uh, anyone having knowledge on qtp uh, they may have experience about this one okay yes so if you want just as per my requirement just i want to do some basic sign in test just i want to enter some valid username and valid password here then after clicking on sign in that's my scenario that's my test case I want to enter username and I want to enter the password and I want to click on the sign in button. That's it. So what are the how we are going to automate these scenarios? How we are going to automate these scenarios? So <coughs> sorry. Yes. Yes, if you see here, so if you want to do these actions manually, if you want to do these actions manually, then we have to go we have to move our mouse cursor up to here then we have to click here then we have to enter our username by using the typing action we have to type right we have to type then for moving to the password field either we have to click on tab or otherwise we have to click here initially then we have to type again password Then we are going to click on sign in button yes then first thing the basic things while we are doing these actions manually for the first and basic step we are doing just we are highlighting the area where we want to do action just we are highlighting just we are going to that area by using the tab button or by using the mouse cursor we are going to the particular element on which element we want to do the action that's why i want to enter the username in username field that's why i'm scrolling my mouse up to here and i'm clicking on that one why because here just i'm finding the, i'm just i'm fi just i'm locating the address of the field where i want to do action now i want to do some action here my action is type action that's why i'm typing my username mercury yes if you want <coughs> sorry yes if you want to Okay, if you see here, for these things, for highlighting those fields, we have to use web locators, web elements, sorry, web elements. Yes, what is, <coughs> sorry, so what is a web element here? Yes, if you see, what is a web element is nothing but we have to ask Selenium to do this action yes before asking selenium to do this action do this type action we have to provide the address where exactly selenium have to do that action right so for that one initially we have to find the address of this field and we have to ask selenium to do this action on this particular address field that's it so find how to pass that address field that is nothing but locators how to find the locator for that particular web element or for that particular element this is the one of the basic and ch basic challenge in selenium if you are capable to write if you are capable to find exact locators for each and every element then it's, it's obviously you can able to write your programming scripts very easily then Yes, I'm copying this username. Sorry, I'm just I'm copying this URL. Driver dot get is nothing but it's going to 
open the url yes what is driver.get what is this web driver what is system.sit properties what is this driver.new driver yes these all things we are going to discuss in history in the course just i'm showing you the basic things here just how we are going to automate these things yes then i have to find first of all i have to find the address of this particular field then how i can how we can able to find just i'm right clicking on that and click on inspect here yes if you see here this tag having the type attribute and name attribute these are the attributes so by using this attribute values means we can say it as simply we I can I can say like it's a names for this particular user field by using this user field by using this name I'm passing this name to the selenium by using this name selenium can able to find this user find this web element okay so basically we, we are not able to say like that but technically we are not able to say that but as of now so our basic understanding I'm telling like that so while we are discussing these topics I will give you the technical words Yes, here how we can able to find just give a minute yes driver dot find element just I want to yes. by name I want to find is having a name attribute that name is called username this is a username I copied from this particular website this 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 is the thing then yes I want on on this field so up to here this is an address up to here this is address of this particular field then after passing the address we have to pass the action what we want to do so as by my requirement I have to enter the username here so how we can enter the username manually yes we are typing right so for the manual type action we are having a method in selenium that one is called send keys that means called send keys then i want to enter send keys mercury mercury yes then after that after entering this username we have to enter the password also so before passing the some data into the and before asking selenium to pass this data we have to provide the address of this field to the selenium and how we can able to do that just i'm inspecting on that how we can able to inspect just mouse over on the particular field where you want to do some action then right click on that then you can able to find one inspect option here just click on this just click on that then name equal to password here then driver not find element by dot name equal to this is a password this is a pause yes this password is a value i copied from the this particular field then here we have to pass password this password is a for that one we have to use send keys method then we have to give password here what we want to pass that's it okay then what we have to do after that then after entering the username and password just i want to click on the sign in button let's see here so before click on the sign in button before asking selenium to click on that particular button we have to pause the address of that particular button yes it's also having a name called login i'm going to use that then driver dot find element by using name that name is called login then after finding the address what the action we have to do here we have to click here so manually we are clicking here in even though in selenium also we are having dot click yes that's it that's it okay yes i'm going to execute this particular program yes i'm running it
yes if you observe it's open new browser instance initially this in yes it's open browser it's maximize now it's opening the data yes now it's enter the url if you observe here it's enter the username password and click on sign in also click on sign in also yes that's why now we are in second phase that's why we now we are in second phase so this is a one of the basic script how we are going to automate by using selenium web driver yes so this is the way so this is a, some introduction up to the selenium yes but if you want to learn selenium we have some prerequisites what is what all are those prerequisites not that much things just only one is java how much you are strong in java that's that much um, helpful for you like you have become a good automation tester that's why java is nothing but not entire java core java concepts or nf that's why i'm spending half of the time at more than 20 classes like nearly 15 to 23 classes on java only i'm going to teach java from very basic very very basic like what is the different data types what is a class how we have to create a class how we have to start with java from java installation i'm going to tell each and everything what are the different data types then what are the different methods or what are the from functions in string class how to handle the strings why because string functionality is very important here we have to work a lot with that why because as a functional tester, sorry, as an automation tester, we have to read the data from UI and we have to validate that. So sometimes we have to read each and everything from UI. So what the things you are reading from UI is in a string format in Java. Then we have to do some validations. So yes, yes, I'm expecting as I'm expecting some today day today day is a Saturday on the screen. That's why I have to read that day. And I have to validate if that day is Saturday or not. It means I have to validate these two strings. If these type of scenarios are frequent, we are going to face as an automation tester. That's why knowledge on strings are very important. So what are the different types of functionalities is available in string. So nearly we are having more than 14 methods which are which we are going to use very frequently. That's why I'm going to discuss each and every method with the programming example. Then after that, arrays. Then after that, arrays. Once we complete it with the arrays, collections. What are the different types of collections and everything? What is the list? What is the set? What is the map? And what are the different functionalities in that one with the programming examples? Yes. And another important thing is oops concept. We have to check with oops concept yes we have to learn a lot means the basic thing for the interview purpose for the framework understanding purpose oops concepts are very important what are the different types of oops concept in java what, what is the inheritance what is the polymorphism in, in again in polymorphism what is the overloading what is the overriding then what is the abstraction what yes these all things we are going to discuss each and everything with the programming examples at the same time after ex after completing each and every topic I'm going to share some latest trend interview questions Latest questions in a Google Drive then you can able to see you yes, like this I'm going to share each and every document and I'm going to share each and every um, Interview questions on each and every topic then you can try from from your end for the practice purpose I'm saying Yes, after that, after completing this course, after sorry, after completing each and every topic, means after completing the strings, after completing the collections, after completing the oops, we are going to have one dedicated class for the practice on the completed things. Yes. So that's why don't yes, if you are having programming knowledge or if you are not having programming knowledge is not an issue here why because we are going to learn the programming language from the basic just start we're going to start as a zero here so that's why no don't worry about the java but 
without java there is no selenium that's why i'm not going to say you can learn, you can get java or you can learn selenium you can able to um, maintain without any programming knowledge why because programming knowledge is very important yes we just we have to learn some core topics just we have to learn some core topics that's it then once we basic concepts so we are starting from the zero that's which and everything we are going to cover at the same time we are having some dedicated driver dedicated group mail id anytime if you face any issues while practicing if you face any issues please drop a mail to that particular group mail id i'll respond accordingly then second one is then after that we're going to discuss some execution engines like test ng what are the test ng what are the different features of test ng then after that we are going to discuss framework development then what is the framework why exact how exactly these things are reflecting in real time scenarios in real time scenarios then how exactly we have to discuss means uh, once we enter into the real time scenario what are the basic hurdles we are going to face you know how to overcome those things that's why we are going to build a framework from basic the framework understanding is very important and another one what is the real time challenges what is the way of programming in real time the way of programming or way of writing the scripts while practicing or as a fresher as a as a fresher for selenium is different writing style in real time is different we have to use some some generic methods we have to use some generic experts and something else so how we are going to use in real time i'm going to show i'm going to tell those things also then finally at the end of the course we are able to create a framework that one is having automatic report generator after execution of our program it will it will create a report automatically at the same time that remote sorry that report will send to given email ids automatically that's our main motto so most of thing most of the, my first criteria here is java then after that selenium then framework yes that's it so these are the this is the core structure that's it from my end any queries from anyone Is any queries? Any queries regarding course structure or some any topics? What we are going to cover? Please ask. Okay, that's it from my end. They can I drop drop off? Thank you all. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Is anyone having any doubt? Someone going to ask something?
Hi, uh, this is Shanta. I, uh, hi, want Shanta. Uh, I want to know, do we have any certification on Selenium? No. Just check with the Kerry, Kerry Wright team. Uh, I think uh, from, uh, I'm not having no, um, uh, on that one. Can you check with the Kerry Wright team? Like uh, Vijay will give you the uh, yeah, yeah, total information. Oh, okay. No, I'm just asking like a certification for selenium in a, for not for this course. I'm just generally I'm asking like how no, come I, we... uh, yes, I can say no. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. So now we're just asking for like a ISTQB certification like that or asking for any other certification is there in selenium, right? Santa? Yeah, I want to do some certification which will give more value. So I thought of doing ISTQB uh, certification foundation level and uh, I need help from, uh, from you. Like, uh, will you be able to help for certification? Yeah, we, yes, we can discuss later on that things. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Al. thank you. Bye. Bye.